Billy felt a shudder run down her spine. She looked again at the Book of Shadows. It often creeped her out. Closing the book she decided it was just a pipe dream anyway. So she turned and headed downstairs. What were you doing up there? Piper asked. Yeah we get nervous when you plan things. Phoebe joked. Leave her alone. Paige said dumping down onto the couch beside the other two bowl of popcorn in hand. We have the house to ourselves for a couple of days let's enjoy tonight. Isn't it still like three in the afternoon? Piper laughed. What do you care? Phoebe puzzled. Don't some of us still have to work? Not today. Today is sick day. Paige smiled. Are you staying here or coming back later? She asked Billy. Later. Billy said before walking out the door. Sometimes the sisters were too weird. Luna grabbed the man from behind and broke his neck with a single twist. Taking his soul in with a single breath she used the power she had stolen from Grondus to plant a tormentor in his body. Standing erect and straightening out its neck the tormentor stood. Take this to the blonde witch. Don't let her see you. She barked. Handing the manshell a crystal and a piece of paper. Turning the shell wobbled on its feet and then began to walk straight to Billy's dorm. Staring up at the sky Luna began to use another ability she had stolen. She began to infect Billy's mind with self-doubt. Billy had gotten all the way to her dorm before she began to feel down. The same thing kept playing on her mind. At first she had thought it was jealousy, then ambition, back to jealousy and finally she realized it was fear. The sisters, Piper especially, talked to her like she was a child sometimes no older than the boys and one of them was still in diapers. But without the power of three the sister were the same as Billy just ordinary witches, if there was such a thing. With a whoosh she saw a young man being grabbed by the neck and dragged into an alleyway. Rushing to help him she bounded into the blind alley only to see nothing. Hearing a clatter she saw a black shape leap high onto the roof and leave the shivering shape of a young man with his neck broken. In the quiet of the alley she heard a sharp clink as the shape dropped something as it fled. Moving to the sound Billy found a sharp piece of crystal, shaped like a three-sided pyramid, wrapped in a piece of oil cloth. She felt the crystal hum with power as she touched it so she quickly wrapped it back up in the cloth determined to show the sisters. Luna cackled as the tormentor told her of its ruse. With a click of her fingers the tormentor then vanished in a dark haze. As Billy opened the door to her room she dropped the crystal beside her computer and began to strip off. Almost naked she ran quickly into the bathroom and turned on the shower. Letting the cold water heat up she sat in just a pale blue bra and knickers set licking at the crystal. Taking out her grandmother's diary she began to search the pages until she came across a picture that looked similar. By this time however steam was rising from under the bathroom door so grabbing her towel Billy jumped into the shower. As soon as the young witch was safely engrossed in conditioning her hair the crystal began to glow and Luna appeared. Grabbing the diary sitting on the desk she began to use the old witch's power. Incanting softly she changed the words on the page then when she heard the young witch began to hum softly to herself she channeled a spell into the crystal. Taking a step back Luna faded into nothingness.